Hi, I'm so excited to be here doing this. I am actually leaving the house today. I'm in my new house, which is really, really nice. And I'm gonna go see some friends. So I thought, I'm gonna bring something. And then I had to figure out what. So, Reuben dip. Oh, it's gonna be great. Fingers crossed. Not too many ingredients for this one. We have cream cheese, Swiss cheese, corned beef, mayonnaise, secret ingredient, Thousand Island dressing, and sauerkraut, where I squeezed out some of the juice. Now I just need to do some plopping. So I've got softened cream cheese, mayonnaise, plop. Thousand Island, and then I'm gonna stir that together and then plop some other things in there. <laughs> I've got my helpers. Here's Reggie and Pepper. Um, mix the first part together, then you add in the sauerkraut, you can see it right there, and the cheese and the corned beef that I've chopped. And I'm gonna attempt to stir this and then put it in the crock pot. This is super easy. Oh, there it is. Reuben dip ready for the crock pot. It'll be cooked for about two hours. Um, it looks kind of gross, but it's not cooked yet. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Mmm. I think this, this might be good. It tastes like a Reuben but it's just not cooked yet. We'll see, I'll check back in two hours. There it is, bubbling. This is Reuben dip. Right. Uh, made by the fabulous Mizibi, Tanya E.B. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's fragrant. <laughs> it smells really good. Yeah. <laughs> Can you smell? It smells. A little bit stuffy, it's the sauerkraut. <laughs> um, I love sauerkraut. Oh, okay. Okay. I get it. Here. Oh, no. Can smell? <laughs> yes. That's yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, get the dip and cover it really quick. <laughs> okay. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't look very good. What do you call that? Uh, it doesn't have curb. You, good curb. 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 No. Okay. But sometimes that's. <laughs> that's, 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 that's gonna be so good. <laughs> Just do it. Don't get your hand. <laughs> that was a really big bite. Something. Oh no, she's gonna spit it out. Is the temperature too hot? Is that why? The temperature is hot. Okay. Um, you should have rolled it. The taste buds that I have left <laughs> are very happy. Um, oh, that was unexpected. It's really good. I promise. That really? Is, I don't believe you. No, it's delicious. <laughs> it's cheesy and creamy. Mm -hmm. I didn't really taste the sauerkraut, but maybe, maybe sauerkraut it burned receptors you. are right here. Because <laughs> that's the part that, that doesn't work anymore. Um, it's delicious. Awesome. Yeah, I really love okay. it. Okay. I'm going to unplug it, though, maybe for a while. Yeah. Woo! As I stand here awkwardly in my dining room, because I don't have a tripod, I'm kind of thinking about last night and the dip I made, and I think I learned some valuable lessons. One, don't bring the Reuben dip to a get together where there are mostly vegetarians. Two, don't make your dear friend eat the Reuben dip when the Reuben dip is so hot it's boiling and it burns her mouth. And three, while a very, very tasty dip it is not a looker. Ooh. Um, so 
So maybe don't use the crock pot unless you have a big get together and people aren't looking at it. Maybe just bake it in the oven and put the cheese on the top so it gets nice and bubbly and um, actually looks appetizing. All in all, thumbs up on the ribbon dip if you follow those three rules. <laughs>